Hello, and welcome to the On Semiconductor webcast. Today we will discuss On Semiconductor's next generation lithium ion battery management solution, how emerging innovative semiconductor technology will allow this to be achieved, by showing how engineers are able to reduce charging time and also simplify the system designs while increasing the lifespan of the batteries and lengthening the discharge times. The rapid advancements being made in handheld consumer products such as smartphones, netbooks, and tablet PCs are placing increasingly stringent demands on the lithium-ion batteries that act as their power source. The public demand for more sophisticated portable electronics devices is not being abated Greater feature sets are being demanded so that OEMs can differentiate themselves from their rivals in what are extremely competitive markets. This of course affects the overall power budget. For example, inclusion of GPS and Bluetooth will both present significant drains to the battery. Displays with ever larger dimensions are being incorporated. Early cell phone models only required rudimentary displays. With the advent of smartphones, however, this all changed a sizable touch-enabled thin film transistors became the basis of these products' user interfaces. Subsequent generations of smartphones have employed bigger and better display formats, with certain models now looking to fill the gap that lies between them and tablet PCs. In some cases, they are using up to 6.3 inch displays. Though users want the benefits of all this extra functionality and larger screens, they are not willing to compromise in any way on either the length of time between recharges or how quickly these recharges take to complete. Across the globe, OEM power system design engineers are striving to extract more performance from a single cell lithium ion battery over a very wide range of temperatures and load values. In order to achieve this goal, critical system parameters must be tightly controlled under all conditions including conduction losses, which must be aggressively reduced. The greater precision with which these system parameters are controlled, the higher the performance level obtained from the battery. In addition, as more functionalities are added to the devices, more power is required, and thus the design engineers need to seek for an advanced battery protection technology. Since battery technology has not really improved over the last decade, the quantity of charges that batteries of a given format can store has stayed relatively constant. Engineers, as a result, must concentrate their efforts on increasing the charge rate that can be supported. The charge rate of a battery, measured in C, quantifies the capacity that the battery has to store electrical charge over the course of an hour of charging. It is now increasingly common for portable products to have a full charge rate of 1C which means charging of the battery is completed within an hour, or even 2C, which means it is completely charged in just 30 minutes. As the charge rate of portable products increases rapidly, the surrounding electronics will be under a greater load. The temperature dependence of the on-state resistance of the components in the power system is critical. The on-state resistance of components, typically known as RDS on, will increase with the temperature when current is applied. In order to combat this, it is important to maintain stable current and voltage when measuring overcharging and over-discharging. Secondly, it increases the overall cost, which is equally problematic in the price-sensitive markets that these OEMs are situated. The challenge is to be able to raise C while still having acceptably low values of RDS on for key components within the system. An additional issue is that most of these devices are manufactured in extremely high volumes. Each portable product needs to have the same performance, so component sorting is needed. Sorting is based on average operational conditions and does not take into account the extremes of temperature. This further constricts the available window of operation for the lithium ion battery. So how do we overcome these challenges? A key is to maximize the lithium ion battery capacity while holding a consistent current and voltage detection even if temperature goes up. So how high can the battery temperature increase? Since the energy density of a lithium ion rechargeable battery is higher than other rechargeable batteries, it might cause catastrophic thermal meltdown. The rechargeable battery is commonly used for portable equipment due to its high energy density and lighter weight. Meanwhile, there are some cases that it is used nearly close to specification limits in terms of charging condition and shock protection. For example, 
We apply 2.2 .2 amp current to one cell lithium ion battery using 3.7 volts. There is a possibility that the temperature increases to 1,627 degrees Celsius since meltdown temperature is 1,535 degrees Celsius and might cause catastrophic thermal failure and possibly meltdown. Therefore, battery protection becomes extremely important. Engineers need to efficiently manage both the charge and discharge current within charging systems while at the same time protecting their lithium ion batteries from the potential harm that is posed by over voltage, over current, and over temperature phenomena. The protection circuitry between the lithium ion battery and the rest of the portable product will traditionally include a power MOSFET and some basic control circuitry. The most important dynamics the charging system must consider is voltage stabilization and current level of the protection functions under various temperature settings while minimizing power line impedance and keeping the heat level low. The key to solving the problem is the specification of more highly integrated semiconductor devices. Co-packaged solutions are now emerging with both the circuit protection and power MOSFET elements included. In principle, these can resolve many of the issues discussed and save space as well. Chip scale package format devices provide lower RDS on values that are needed to enhance system designs. Furthermore, better bonding technologies are also proving beneficial, with clip bonding rather than conventional wire bonding being considerably more effective. Though several co-packaged solutions are already available, Generally, they lack certain attributes which are going to be of major importance in next generation charging system designs. This is because they don't have access to a built-in temperature sensor, so they aren't able to offer the current monitoring functionality that will be essential if system reliability is to be fully maintained. The LC05111 CMT from On Semiconductor is a highly advanced protection IC targeted especially at single cell lithium ion battery charging applications. Thanks to its high degree of functionality, it could be used to construct circuit protection systems with only a few additional external components. It has two integrated power MOSFET elements, as well as highly accurate detection delay circuitry, which prevents batteries from overcharging, over discharging, over current discharging, and over current charging. Figure one shows this device circuit diagram. While in normal mode, it controls charging and discharging by detecting cell voltage and CS pin voltage. If the cell voltage is between the over-discharge detection voltage and overcharged detection voltage, and the CS pin voltage is between charging overcurrent detection voltage and over-discharged detection voltage, then the power MOSFET elements are turned on. By decreasing the lithium ion battery temperature, more accurate overcurrent and overvoltage protections and a lowering of the RSS on can be attained. Let's take a look at our packaging technology advantages. On Semiconductor introduced advanced co-packaged solutions with both the circuit protection and power MOSFETs and elements included. There are two advantages. First, we utilize trimming technology, and this allowed us to measure individual FETs RDS on resistance value and adjust overcurrent comparator threshold. Second, clip bonding technology enables lower RSS on. There are two types of current detection methods for the protection IC. First is called sense register method, using current sensing resistance. Its sensing accuracy is good, however, it is costly and line impedance becomes high. Another method is FET resistor method, using on resistance of the FET, which controls charging and discharging. However, variation of on resistance of the FET due to changes in power supply and temperature causes poor current sensing. On Semiconductor's method uses on resistance of the FET, however, it compensates a variance of the on resistance with the protection IC. This enables precision current sensing. In addition, it reduces line impedance as well as the board's heat. Expedient rapid charging will be fundamental in the consumer electronics products of the future, but it comes with increased risk of overheating. This means that more advanced protection mechanisms are going to be required. Through the integration of the power MOSFET and the control circuit, as described here, along with advanced thermal management and precision sensing, it will be possible to significantly reduce the total tolerance in the interface circuit while lowering the RDS on of the power MOSFET aspect too. 
This substantially increases the total usable range of load voltage and current while also improving manufacturing yields and thereby reducing unit cost. We conducted the benchmark test showing temperature increase when discharging using our competitors' devices. As you can see on the graph, FET resistor type devices generates the highest temperature and on resistance. On semiconductors method reduces temperature by approximately 70% compared with FET resistor type and 30% compared with sense register type. Moreover, our IC board size is smaller than others, therefore it meets thin product design needs. We measured the relationship between the temperature and overcurrent detection value at charging and discharging, with and without temperature compensation. As you can see, the red line, which graphs the measurement without temperature compensation, deviates from the nominal values, negative 4 amps for the left graph and 6 amps for the right graph, due to temperature variance. However, our protection IC is equipped with a built-in temperature sensor and minimizes error range. We measured the changes in overcharge current and over-discharge current at 25 degrees Celsius with and without temperature compensation. As you can see, our battery voltage sensing technology reduces the current variance because our device's current detection through temperature compensation. The table shows the comparison between our competitor's IC and our IC. Our IC's current detection deviation at overcharge and over-discharge conditions is only 1.4 amps, while theirs is 6.2 amps current detection deviation for our competitor's IC. Not only do we offer the standard product, LC051.11, but we also offer reset and factory modes types. We also offer the LC709203F battery fuel gauge IC. The LC709203F measures the remaining power level of one cell lithium ion batteries in handheld and portable equipment. This industry leading fuel gauge IC enables the device to display accurate battery levels using our proprietary monitoring method and achieves the lowest power consumption in the industry. For more information regarding the lithium ion battery protection controller IC, please contact your local on semiconductor sales representative or authorized distributor or visit us on the web at www.onsemi.com. Thank you.